little mathematicians today, we're going to use a flower pot and some pebbles to do some work with numbers together. I'm going to have a flower pot and I'm going to have some pebbles. I'm going to hide some pebbles in the flower pot. I want you to try and solve how many I have in the flower pot. How many pebbles are here with this flower pot? Well, I can see there are six under the flower pot and four outside of the flower pot. Six and four. I know that that makes ten. Today I'm going to start with ten pebbles and a flower pot. I'm going to ask you some questions as I put some pebbles underneath the flower pot. Let's take a look at this together. Okay, little mathematicians, I'm going to hide some of my pebbles under the flower pot. You're going to be able to see some of the pebbles, but some of them you won't see. Let's take a look. I have some pebbles under the flower pot and some pebbles out of the flower pot. Let's find out how many are outside the flower pot. You might be able to see and already know that amount very quickly. It looks like the number five. Just like it looks like the number five when we're using dice dots. It looks similar, the pattern's the same. One, two, three, four, five. I have five here. Now, what number did I start with? 10. If I can see five pebbles here, how many would be under here if I know I had 10 to begin with? Hmm. What does five combine with to make 10? What smaller parts are within 10? This is an easy one. Five combines with five to make 10. So I can see five pebbles and I know that there are five pebbles hiding underneath the flower pot. What this tells me is, Five and five is 10. Today I'm going to record that like this. Five and five is 10. I wrote a number sentence. Five and five is 10. You can write this too. Record it onto your paper or your board because we're writing down the smaller combinations within 10. Let's do another one together. Remember, you can pause the video wherever you need to, to catch up. I'm going to put another part of these pebbles underneath the flower pot and leave a part out for you to see. Let's take a look. I have some out of the flower pot and some under the flower pot. There are two outside of the flower pot. So how many should be underneath here? Remember, I'm working with that number 10. What smaller parts can I remember within 10? Two and what is 10? If you need some extra help with this today, you could use a 10 frame. I already have two seeds outside of my flower pot. How many seeds would be underneath the flower pot? Here are my two seeds outside the flower pot. How many are underneath the flower pot? Did you get eight? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and eight is ten. Let's record that one, little mathematicians. Two. And eight is 10. We're recording as mathematicians. We're looking at parts of numbers. This activity is great for us working with smaller parts within a bigger number. And we're going to use the number 10. But there's something a little bit different about this activity. We're starting to hide some of those parts so we can't see them with our eyes. We can't touch them and count them. We have to start calling upon those things we've learned, combinations to 10. Have a go of practicing this where you are. Use a cup, use some pebbles or seeds, and break apart that number 10 to have some underneath the flower pot and some outside of the flower pot. Can you remember your combinations to 10? Take a look today and see if you can.